I, I know you guys have been missing the problem solving. I have also been missing the problem solving, okay? We have not done a live solve in so long. It's so sad. And I actually found a very fun thing to do. We're going to be doing the MIT Integration B, okay? And it's going to be very fun. Hello everybody, I'm Car, and today we're basically going to be going through the 2019 qualifying round for the MIT Integration B. And if you guys don't know what that is, basically it's just a annual contest that MIT does and it basically gives you a bunch of integrals to solve in 20 minutes. So just a full disclaimer, I suck at integrals. I have not practiced calc since like 10th grade, so this is going to be kind of funny. I did try out the 2021, the problems were cool, I sucked at them, but we can do it together, okay? Also, a quick thing, I was thinking about this cool series that I might do, and it's basically 30 minutes a day of problem solving or something. I'm going to think of a better title than that, don't worry. But basically the concept is I just do 30 minutes of like unedited problem solving every day and I just post it, like premiere it, and then we could like talk on chat or something. I don't want to stream it because I suck at streaming, but we'll, we'll just do like a premiered video every day and I'll just like record 30 minutes of unedited footage. It might be fun. If you guys are interested in that or you guys have any like suggestions on what you guys want me to do, let me know in the comments or let me know in my Discord or like leave a like. I don't know, no, I'm kidding, but if you guys leave a like and subscribe, I am not complaining. But yeah, if you guys are interested in that, let me know, and I might actually do it. It'll be kind of a time commitment for me, so I'm not entirely sure if I'll do it, and it might not start for a while because I want to have like some backups just in case, but it's, I think it's a cool idea, and you guys like the problem solving, and I could do the problem solving in addition to like the normal fun videos I do like two times a week. So enough talking, let's get into this problem solving, and let us get started with the 2019 test. We'll start with 20 minutes on the clock. I might give myself more time because I'm bad at this, but... We'll see how it goes. Okay, 20 minutes on the clock. Let us get started. Okay, so integral of 0 to 2 pi of tan of cosine x dx. Okay, so essentially what you're doing is you're finding an antiderivative, and I do not remember any of the antiderivatives. Ah, oh. <laughs> what, what, what's the, okay, so the antiderivative of tan x, like ln of tan x, ln of secant x, yeah, ln secant x. Oh, I forgot all my calc, this is so sad. Oh. Okay, you know, moving on, let's skip that one, and then we might come back to it. I just do not remember my trig stuff, but let's see. So, x plus 1 over x times x plus log x. So, can we, like, partial fraction decomposition it or something? Let's see. If we do, like, 1 over x, I mean, if you do minus, like, 1 over x plus log x, you get something nasty. Oh, oh, okay, well, okay, so if you do, like, log of log of x, right? Basically, they use log to represent the natural log. I don't know why, <laughs> but I guess that's fine. You get like 1 over x log x if you do that, right? So that's pretty good. Um, that is somewhat close to what we want, right? We want like x squared plus x log x, right? What happens if we did like, wait, yeah, x plus log x, right? Then you get like, you get 1 over x times x plus log x, right? Yeah, yeah. So you got like uh, 1 plus 1 over x in the numerator. Okay, okay, so that's what you get. That is looking pretty good. Then you get, oh, wait, that's literally it. Okay, so our answer is just log of x plus log over x. Nice. Right, because you get 1 over x plus log over x, and then you get x uh, 1 plus 1 over x in the numerator, and that gives you that. So that's epic. Okay, 3. e to the x plus e to the x. Wait, let's zoom in. That's tiny. Plus e to the x minus e to the x. Okay, the cool thing about e to the x is that if you take the derivative of e to the x, you get um you get e to the x. So that's nice. But how does that even help? Um, Well, okay, let's just think about what happens if we do like e to the x plus e x and we take the derivative of that. Then we basically get um e to the x plus e to the x times 1 plus e to the x. Oh, 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 big brain. Okay, yeah, yeah. so basically if you do like, th this becomes like e to the x plus e to the x plus e to the 2x plus e to the x, right? So that's on the right track. Wait, yeah, <laughs> wait, that's so good. Literally, it's the antiderivative of itself, right? If you take the derivative of this, you get like e to the x plus e to the x times 1 plus e to the x, right? And then you get plus e to the x minus e to the x times 1 minus e to the x, right? And if we actually, um, if we actually expand this out, you get, like, um, e to the x plus e to the x minus e to the x minus e to the x, and then this part, oh, wait, no, 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 not quite, no, uh, well, okay, so then you get, like, plus e to the x, 2x plus e to the x plus e to the 2x minus e to the x, okay? So essentially, you want to get rid of these two terms, and then we're happy. Wait, okay, so let's see. We could actually factor out an e to the x, right? So if we get e to the x times e to the e to the x plus e to the negative e to the x, right? Okay, let's just simplify that. So we get e to the x negative, yeah, so then you get like e to the e to the 2 e to the x plus 1 over 
e to the e to the x, okay. That looks even nastier though. I don't think that's what we want, right? Wait, is it not just like e the... Okay, so e to the e to the x. Wait, okay, so this gives us the first term. So we got the first term already. That's not too bad, right? How do we get the second term? So if you do e to the negative e to the x, that, oh, so yeah, yeah, okay. So the answer is just going to be e to the e to the x minus e to the negative e to the x, right? And then this gives us the first term, this gives us the second term, and we are happy. Let's go. Dang, that was actually kind of hard and cool. Okay, I like that. Um, 1 minus x squared. So that's probably like a trig sub, I'm assuming, right? Uh, is it a trig sub? It can also be a partial fraction decomp. Yeah, it's probably a partial fraction decomp. So 1 over 1 minus x minus 1 over 1 plus x. Or no, plus, plus yeah, and then and then you get like over two, so one half times this, and then you basically want to take the um, antiderivative of that, so you get one half of ln one minus x. Oh shoot, okay, I guess I let me let me rewrite it. So it's like one half times one over x minus one minus yeah yeah okay over one minus x plus one right. So if we take the uh, antiderivative of that, it's just one half times ln of x minus 1 minus 1 half ln of x minus or x plus 1. Okay, so now we just solve this and we should be in good shape. We got to be careful. Okay, so it's an even function. So we only had to do from 0 to 1 half and then just multiply it by 2. Okay, so this is basically 1 half times ln of x minus 1 over x plus 1. And then we want to do this from 1 half to 0. So if we do 1 half, then the numerator becomes like absolute value of one, negative 1 half, which is positive 1 half. And then the denominator becomes 3 halves, so this becomes ln of 1 third. Okay, 1 half times ln of 1 third. Oh, wait, wait, the discontinuity is at 1, so there is no discontinuity. Okay, so we could do negative 1 half. If we do negative 1 half, that's just like negative 3 over 2, so ln of 3, right? And then, yeah, so just ln of 3 minus ln of 3. 1 half ln of 3, that gives us like 1 half ln not 1 ninth. That feels a bit wrong, but I think it's right. Uh... Is that right? So we're gonna go with negative one half of one, ln nine. Or no, that's just negative ln three. Okay, negative ln three, epic. Okay, five, how are you doing on time, dude? This is not, oh, okay, so we only went through half of the time. How many quests, oh shoot, <laughs> not even, okay, okay, whatever. We'll just do our best, boys. <laughs> Dang, I wonder how people are so fast at this, what the heck? I don't know, two to the log of x. I feel like this shouldn't be too hard. The only problem with that is two to the something instead of e to the something, but, so we do e to the ln2 to the log at, uh, ln x. I don't know why they put log, it's so confusing. But anyways, this is basically going to be the same thing as x to the ln2. Okay. I'm not trolling, right? This is, <laughs> this is how you could flip it like that, right? I can't tell. <laughs> I think you could. Okay, so you get x to the ln2, and then ln2 is slightly bigger than 1, right? No, no, it's smaller than 1. So our derivative is like uh, ln2 times x to the 1 minus ln2, or no, I guess it is ln2 minus 1, and then we just plug in 2 and 0, so I guess you get like um, ln2 times 2 to the ln2 minus 1, yeah, I, I think that's right, although that seems a bit sketchy, but seems fine. Okay, why don't we just check these answers for now, and then we could go on because I do not want to keep track of them. Oh, shoot, it is positive. Oh, I must have messed up somewhere. Okay, that's right, that's right. That does not look right. <laughs> no, that's not right. Hold up. What did I do? Okay, so we got <laughs> two out of four wrong. Holy. Well, I guess this one, we just made a sign mistake, so that's fine. Um, This one, what do, what do we do? Wait, no, I took the derivative, not the antiderivative. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, so I had x to the ln2. I took the derivative instead of the antiderivative, so the antiderivative is just going to be... um x to the ln 2 plus 1 over, yeah, ln 2 plus 1. So that when you take the derivative, it gives you this. Okay, so now we plug in our 2 and our 0, and that gives us just that, which is what they had. Okay, nice, nice. Makes sense. Do we want to try number 1 again? Uh, I feel like we should be able to get number 1. Uh, I feel bad. Huh, I should know how to do it, but I don't. Let's save. ln secant x, what, is, what does this do? So you get like 1 over secant x. And then you get cosecant squared x in the numerator. <laughs> What's the derivative of secant x? Ah, oh, I forgot all this stuff, dude. Oh, it's like secant x tan x. Okay, so that's why, okay, so this gives you tan x, right? But what happens if we put sine x inside of that? 
what happens? No, but then the would be sneak in sign X. Oh wait, no, but then it would cancel out this, right? Oh wait, no. So if you did like sneak in cosine X, right? Then this would give you like one over sneak in cosine X times sneak in cos X tan cosine X and then times sine X. So it doesn't work. Oh, so close yet so far. Bro, that's actually so sad. Um, if we did like tan and then you get a derivative of a secant squared to give you like one over sine x cosine x right that is kind of hard so we need a cosine x somewhere right otherwise the note we, we need there to be a cosine x here <laughs> dang we're almost out of time <laughs> bro that's actually so hard holy okay boy we are finishing this before the end of the video i don't think we're actually gonna get it within the time but we gotta solve this before the end of the video okay i feel like secant of any okay let's just say it's y secant of y right so then we get like secant of y over, I mean secant y, secant x, I mean secant y, secant y, and then, or sorry, tan y, okay, times y prime, right? So the only way, to, we can't really get rid of the y prime anyway, so that's not going to work, okay? I don't even have a solution for this, so I'm just going to be staring at this for so long. Okay, well, huh, god dang, this is annoying, I wanted to solve this, let's see. Okay, I'll give myself a little bit more time. This is so sad. I am so sad. Oh, huh. Maybe it's a troll. Let's see. So, from 0 to 2 pi, your cosine goes from, uh, like, 0 to 1 to 0. Does that matter? Wait, okay. So, let's see. 10 kind of looks like this, right? So, like that. One eternity later. Oh, but it's symmetric, right? Cause you got like part of the integral going. Oh, is it just zero? Is it just zero? Come on! Is it? Oh, it's just a no! Oh my god! I'm so triggered at myself, bro. Oh my god, dude, that is kind of a good content. Not gonna lie, what the heck? Oh my, I'm that's so bro. <laughs> See, this is the kind of thing you find out if you practice this kind of stuff. And I just for completely forgot that sym symmetry is a thing. <laughs> oh, I was trying so hard to find the antiderivative, but it was right there. Oh my. Well, we got it, boys, okay? <laughs> Make sure to check your symmetry when you're doing integrals. But anyways, I hope that was enjoyable. That was just me solving some problems. It was some math problems. Maybe not what you guys are used to, but it was still fun. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content, just let me know in the comments, and let me know what you guys want to see for if I do 30 minutes of problem solving a day. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Plus, I beg. <laughs> I am done for today, so thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.